Well, good morning, bike backers. And what a fine morning it is. It's a Friday morning. The sun hasn't actually come up yet. It's about half five. The you know, sun's starting to come up later now. But anyway, today's video, four, or did I do five? Four or five reasons why I prefer to bivy when wild camping, stealth camping, bikepacking, whatever you want to call it, rather than using a tent. We'll get to that later, but for now, I'll see you yesterday. Welcome to Roadie Back In. Off that again. Got about another about an hour of daylight. I left it a bit late to leave. Uh, I want to find somewhere. Well, I've got my eye on a little place. A hill fort. <laughs> Not a hill fort. It could be a hill fort. We'll see. Gee, that looks alright. <laughs> And I've uh, still got about 10 miles to go. So, I'll catch you guys en route. God, this is one of those false flats. Adios, amigos. Hey, Red. You might recognise some of this from one of my previous videos. It's uh, I'm, I'm heading out to Wareham Way. I haven't got a clue where I'm going to be staying yet. I want to try not to stay at the. There was a trig point that I stayed at last time, <clears throat> and there was another time before that. I want to stay somewhere new within Wareham, but the sun's going down pretty quick, so I've not got much time, and I've still got to eat some dinner. So I might end up at the same place. Anyway, check back with you guys in a bit. Got about half an hour. Ah! And then there's a pile. And some sand and stuff. Two handed sand lines, probably not a good idea. Sorry, one handed sand lines, probably not a good idea. I've just come across this bit, I swear I've been here before. I think there's quite a cool little spider there. It's got a pylons, but the sun's going down. I'm going to see what's up there. See in a bit. Just over there, I don't think you can see it, but it's about there you might see a little reflection but that's um i think that's called the old decoy pond if you want to look it up i know where and find decoy pond that's kind of where i am check my legs out i can see all the money yeah look at them look at them all one two three yeah yeah so definitely not staying at that other spot too many bloody midges over there as soon as you stop there's bloody hundreds of them. Uh, I think it's just because the sun's gone down and they over on that bit, over where I was.
Paul Monty breakfast for dinner. A renegade. It's lovely, isn't it? <clears throat> steam off. Oh, yeah. Cheers, on. Right next to my bivy. <laughs> right, so that's my bivy bag. You can see that blue um, blow up air, air bed thing, air mattress thing. And that's it, that's me for the night. <coughs> Just leaning up against this little mound here, which as I lay down, it's quite comfy. with the I don't know. Cheers all. Thank you sister for my whiskey hip flask. You have an Avalor. Mm, very nice. smooth. It's not peaty or anything. Ah. Well, that is the spot. So here I am, it's uh, 11 o'clock. I'm enjoying the stars. No luck yet with the SS thing, the shutter speed and stuff, so it's probably all just like blank pictures that I've got, but we'll see. But anyway, I was thinking that um, what you know title shall I give this video when I when I post it probably tomorrow? Um, well, we've August or something at the moment. I don't know. It's the end of August sometime. Um, I thought actually I might give a little kind of shout out to Bivy um, Bivy camp camping actually because there's been a few videos recently saying that they prefer um, tent um, camping, which is great. I used to use a tent. Um, when I first started wild camping last year, probably April time, you know, after the first lock lockdown, and um, I just uh, when I was in Dartmoor, um, I at the top of a tour, I just got my sl sleeping bag out because it was such a, lo a great night, and it wasn't going to be um, uh, raining, and um, <clears throat> I just slept under the stars. It wasn't a bivy; it was just my sleeping bag. I thought actually what it was um, I then got a bivy after that 
because I thought I'll give it a try and actually the benefits are number one I don't know if you can see but I've got this in my jacket uh, you probably can't see that that's my sleeping bag and the mattress and the bivvy they're all kind of they're all in one <clears throat> which means that you don't roll off of your sleep mat during the night which I found when I had my tent doesn't matter where you pitch up you always end up well I always ended up um, rolling off of my sleep mat in my sleeping bag so then you'd wake up and your feet might be touching the ground or something so you'd end up getting that condensation thing whereas in a bivvy it tucks you in so you've kind of got this warm glove you know that kind of tucks you in which is nice it's you know it feels quite cool and if you do get claustrophobic or anything i don't know if you can see but i'm zipped i've got a zip that goes all the way down the bivy and the sleeping bag so if you do feel claustrophobic which i think one person was saying that they felt claustrophobic in a bivy but actually you can just zip it down and just you're out of it if you're wearing a jacket you're going to stay warm i mean this is summer um in the winter obviously you'd need to do it up but still it's actually quite a comfortable feeling like a cocoon you're cocooned in this lovely warm feeling and right so that's kind of number one number two you open your eyes in the morning you've got you're, you're in the forest there's no opening up of a zip or anything to you know see what see what the weather's like or anything you're there it's like the best feeling Oh, the moon's coming out as well over there. You won't, you won't be able to see it. It's like a, oh, just put my hand over that. Top. Yeah. Well, I hope it's a moon and not somebody shining a torch. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be coming up in a bit. Oh, that's going to be cool. But yeah, so there's that. And then number three, you can set it up in. Well, it's however long it takes you to blow up your um, air mattress. It takes me about three days. It takes me about. I tried to count it earlier when I was putting mine up. I think it's about thirty puffs. You know, good lungfuls of air, and then that's it. That's your that's your air mattress set up. It just slots into your bivvy. Put your sleeping bag in. It's done. You don't have to mess around with poles or anything. So you can put it up right before sunset. You don't have to worry about you know setting a tent up or anything. It's done within couple of minutes it's done so that's like point number three um number four again it's the opposite of that the pat down it's just letting your mattress down that folds up sl slots into your um pannier the actual bivy itself just stuffs in and then obviously you've got this sleeping bag anyway so yeah it's the setting up and packing down is like minutes perfect for stealth camping it's yeah I don't think I'll go back to it I do carry a tarp as well um, you know just in case that it's due to rain if you look at my other wearing video um, <clears throat> that was uh, like 10 to 20 percent chance of rain and I yeah I got caught out in that but you can put your tarp up pretty quick as well that's literally um, you can do it with three um, pegs in tight around the tree like the uh, plow point configuration thing yeah it's all good so what's that was that four or five i don't know well there's four or five straight away i can't see me going back to a tent <clears throat> speak to me in the winter see if i uh, feel differently then when it's freezing cold <clears throat> but even still i don't know just get a thicker sleeping bag maybe we shall see, but for summer, so far, bivy bag all the way for me, perfect. Anyway guys, I think that the whiskey's gone to my head.
share that. Take away the evidence. Ah. As always, leave no trace. And the added bonus is the cow pat remains intact. The sun's poking his head out over there. I'm going to take a very slow ride home on my trusty steed. It's been good guys, thanks very much. If you liked it, you know what to do. Adios.